Good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, I'll have a few uh, words to say about the Middle East situation after I've made my remarks uh, to the Security Council. I do want to say a word about the situation in Sri Lanka. Uh, I am appalled by the reports that have uh, come out of Sri Lanka over the weekend of mass civilian uh, casualties. The UN spokesman uh, said that there had been a quote-unquote bloodbath in the northeast of Sri Lanka on uh, Saturday and Sunday, i.e. yesterday. Uh, I've spoken to Foreign Minister Boglagama today and said that I need to speak to him later uh, about these uh, reports because no one can be uh, in any doubt that this is an, in an issue that deserves the international community's attention. Uh, I will be meeting uh, NGOs and UN representatives today with Foreign Minister Kushner to follow up the visit that we did there. Our message is a simple one, which is that the killing must stop. The civilians are trapped in the zone, up to 50,000 in a, an area of just three square kilometers, are the victims uh, of what at the moment is a war without witness. Uh, I've spoken also about the expulsion of British journalists from Sri Lanka, which I think is the opposite of what is needed. We need access and transparency in the situation uh, there. And following my meeting this morning with uh, Foreign Minister Kushner, we'll be following up these issues in the course of the day. Will the UK support a, uh, or propose a resolution for the Council, and does it support the IMF loan application by Sri Lanka? Uh, as you know, the uh, issue has not yet been uh, allowed onto the formal UN Security Council agenda. That's why we'll be, we will be having a range of meetings uh, at the side of today's uh, formal meeting on the Middle East. Uh, I believe very, very strongly that the civilian situation uh, in the northeast of Sri Lanka merits uh, the attention uh, of the United Nations at all uh, levels. Uh, the Secretary General has already sent his uh, representative uh, to uh, Sri Lanka. The uh, lack of access for the UN and its agencies remains a major concern. Have you persuade China, Russia, Vietnam and Japan, who don't want this on the agenda of the Council, that it should be? I think that the civilian uh, catastrophe in the northeast of Sri Lanka speaks for itself, and the uh, international humanitarian law to which we all uh, sign up needs to be followed in spirit and in letter. Thanks very much indeed. Could you answer the question? On the IMF loan? Sorry, Sorry in, respect the, in respect of the IMF, I think you'll find that the issue is not coming up at the IMF today. It's essential that any uh, government is able to show that it will use the, uh, any IMF money in a responsible and appropriate way. And as I explained in the uh, House of Commons last week, I don't think that's yet the case. Question about the meeting today, please. Uh, would you support uh, any statement that does not... Uh, mentioned the need to freeze any settlement uh, activities. You'll, you, you'll, you'll know that the British position in respect of the freeze of settlement activities is very, very clear. Uh, we believe that that is a roadmap a commitment and needs to be adhered to, and you'll hear the details of what I've got to say on that. Uh, in